it has become an American institution. I hope you enjoy your tour today. And now I'm pleased to present your tour of Common Water. Thank you, Mr. Grant, and hello, everyone. I'm Joe Moore with the Motor Racing Network, and I'd like to welcome you to the official World Center of Racing Tour right here at Daytona International Speedway. Starting right now, in the next three minutes, you're going to see Daytona International Speedway. Safer barrier. 
It's on your right, right up at the top of the street, right next to the racing surface. There's a concrete wall on the outside, and all those blocks you see in between the two, that's the foam. If a car gets into the safer barrier, that steel tubing will flex, and that foam behind it gives way, and that greatly dissipates the energy from the impact. and it's from there that they pulled the one million cubic yards of dirt that was needed to build the high banks. This Bill Francine here, also known as Big Bill, was looking for a place to construct a super speedway. He needed a piece of property that A, was large enough to accommodate a two and a half mile facility, and B, had the right quantity and quality of dirt to build the high banks. Not everything he needed all rolled up into this one piece of property, and Mr. France's dream became a reality with the opening of Daytona International Speedway for the first Daytona 500 in February of 1959. Also on your left, adjacent to Lake Lloyd, a set of grandstands over there. Those are the Tiny Lund, Davy Allison, Super Stretch grandstands. We built those in 1994 with an original seating capacity of 4,000 people. We've added a couple of seats over the years. We can now put nearly 58,000 fans on the super stretch. If you look in the upper left-hand corner of the super stretch grandstand, there's a little small fenced-in area up on the top of this end. That's one of the team spotter stands. The speedway is so large, many of the teams use two spotters to get their drivers safely around here on race day. One's located there on the super stretch, the other is off to your right, up above the seating over on the front straightaway. High atop that class in building, which is the Nextel Tower. And from that vantage point, that puts the spotters about 14 stories above the start finish line. The grandstands on the right, over on the front straightaway, stretch for eight-tenths of a mile from the exit of turn four all the way down to the entrance of turn number one. We can see 109,000 fans on the front straightaway. Back in February for the Daytona 500, the event was a sellout, and that meant the front straightaway grandstands were full, the super stretch grandstands were full, and everything down in the infield was also jammed full. And we're told by the media that when that happens, that we do have a sellout here at Daytona, the Speedway actually becomes one of the largest cities in the state of Florida. At least for a short period of time, anyway.